Shout Factory TV, changing the channel. We gather together to watch cheesy movies at Comedy Central on Thanksgiving Day. At Mystery Science Theater 3000, it's 30 straight hours and it's called Turkey Day. Catch Turkey Day all day Thanksgiving here at Comedy Central. Hey, how come he doesn't have to sing? He's in the union. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Joel Hodson, the creator of Mystery Science Theater 3000, and I'm Chaotic Neutral. Welcome to Turkey Day 2013 on YouTube. You know, Thanksgiving's always been an important date for MST3K. Not only were there seven years of Turkey Day marathons on Comedy Central and Sci-Fi, but the show itself actually premiered on Thanksgiving 25 years ago today. Plus, if you've never been to a Thanksgiving and you live in the U.S., I really encourage you to try it. When it all comes together, well, it just gets nuts. And here, from the MST3K archives, is the promo for the very first show on Thanksgiving Day 25 years ago on UHF Channel 23, KTMA in Minneapolis. No need to adjust your monitors. It's a bit runny. In the not-too-distant future, TV23 will present a startling new show so bold, so innovative, it will launch television comedy into the next millennium. Science Theater 3000, starring the Twin Cities own Joel Hodgson. I am Joel Hodgson. One of the country's hottest comedians, famous for his appearances on Saturday Night Live and Late Night with David Letterman. This is one of my inventions. It's the uh, Joel Hodgson pocket mohawk. <laughs> Each week, join Joel and his trusty robot pals high above the planet in the satellite of love. There'll be adventure, mystery, and fun as Joel and his crew guide you through some of the cheesiest movies ever made. Classic movies like Thunderbirds to the Rescue and the unforgettable Green Slime. That's an asteroid. That's no asteroid. That's a battle station. So don't leave the future behind. Join us. Become one of us. Mystery Science Theater 3000. Looks kind of like MST3K fan fiction, right? Trust me, it's not. But as you can see, all the elements were there. The theater seats, the doorway sequence, the jumpsuit, even the robots. That unfamiliar looking bot though was Beeper, a robot I made the night before that had the unique feature of being a puppet with zero charisma. One of those rare facts that is both interesting and boring at the same time. So right after the pilot, I swapped out Beeper's head for a gumball machine I had in my shop and viola. Beeper became servo. As Frank Kahn of TV's Frank says, history has been kind to MST3K. And I think that's true. TV Guide consistently rates MST in the top 25 cult shows, and both Time Magazine and Entertainment Weekly include MST in their top 100 TV shows of all time. As you can see, it's to the point where it's clearly getting ridiculous. But it's a good kind of ridiculous. It's not like Duck Dynasty ridiculous. Oh yeah, thanks. Um, Cambot's doing a cameo, and Cambot, during the break, put something on, uh, we got company. So clear the decks, it's time to test your MST3K literacy and figure out the first episode of the Turkey Day Marathon by playing a version of Name That MST3K. Recognize it? This song is the haunting end credit theme from this year's first Turkey Day episode. I know, that narrows it down to every 80s movie we've ever ripped. Any guesses? And no, it's not a Foreigner or Loverboy or Ario Speedwagon song, though it sure wishes it were. Why, it's the song Edge of a Dream from the episode Space Mutiny. Hope you enjoy it. Blast hard cheese! Hi, Tom Servo here with a Turkey Day Fact here at Comedy Central. Hey, did you know the Puritans used to beat up Quakers? <laughs> it's true. Back after this.